A surprising report about the power of aspirin. It could be a cancer fighter. The new study from England suggests a daily dose could make the difference. Our Dr. David Agus leads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California. He's up early in Los Angeles to join us at the table. It's good to see you, Dr. Dave. David Great Agus from you, L.A. Gail. So we've all heard from ye for years that take a baby aspirin a day, that it's very good for you. What is the connection between cancer and aspirin? And what kind of aspirin are you talking about? Well, there's been data over the last 5, 10 years, pretty dramatic, that aspirin can reduce the incidence of cancer, particularly the GI cancers, although also data in breast, prostate, and lung cancer. And it's taking a 75 to 81 milligrams a day, Enterocoded is probably a little better than regular aspirin, although we don't know. And it has an effect, obviously, on heart disease, too. But this new study showed that at year five, the benefits dramatically outweigh the risk. And it continues on where the benefits grow and grow. So, in fact, if you take aspirin for 20 years, there's a dramatic reduction in the overall death rate in the people compared to the people who didn't take aspirin. So, certainly, this 2,000-year-old drug has benefits today that we need to pay attention to. Well, if this is such good news, and, and it is, I mean, why isn't there more effort, more public information, more of a campaign to have everybody take a baby aspirin? Well, you know, in our country, we have a right to do what we want. We could drink large I, sodas. I didn't say force people to. I said <laughs> encourage them to. Um, I agree with you. I mean, at the same time, we really need to encourage the prevention and, you know, almost to mandate that every doctor talk to a patient yeah. about aspirin. It's not for everybody. If you've got stomach upset or a bleeding problem, it's probably not right. for you. But at the same time, the discussions need to happen. What is it specifically exactly. about aspirin yeah. that can prevent cancer? Is it anti-inflammatory? We certainly think so. And so, you know, what's amazing is, is that, first of all, aspirin hasn't gotten better in 2,000 years. We haven't gotten rid of the cytoprex that improved it, but it's the same medicine as 2,000 years ago. And we think a daily dose is something that lowers or tempers the immune response to lower inflammation, reduces the incidence of cancer and heart disease over time. Any difference between men and women? Um, well, women get heart disease later and cancer classically a little bit later. So while it's beneficial in both, the recommendations are starting at a little bit later in women than in men.